All right, everybody, in this video, we are going to talk about five must-have apps for every social media marketing agency owner or online entrepreneur. All right, everybody, welcome back to Do Guys Build a Biz, the best place on YouTube for anything relating to starting, growing, or scaling your social media marketing agency or business online. If those topics interest you, we'd love if you hit the subscribe button so that you could hang out with us on an ongoing basis. And don't forget to hit the bell notifications so that YouTube will let you know the next time that we post an awesome video like this. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about five must-have apps for every social media marketing agency owner that we use every single day in our business to invoice clients, to do ongoing client work and everything and everything in between. And these apps have honestly changed the game for us. They are the secret behind why we've been able to scale as quickly as we can. They deal with how we manage our team. They deal with how we get paid. They deal with how we deliver services for our clients. So these are five absolutely indispensable apps that you should have in your arsenal. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump into these apps that you need for your agency. All right, everybody, so jumping into the computer here, the first app that we absolutely 100% cannot live without is an application called Stripe. Stripe is a payments platform. Now it has a ton of different features, all kinds of developers, a lot of your favorite applications online, as well as a lot of your favorite e-commerce stores use Stripe on the back end to power their business. But we use it for our agency to send, receive, and deal with all of our invoicing for our clients. So it's amazing. It allows them to pay with a credit card for a small fee, or pay via ACH bank transfer, which is very easy, offers a lot of flexibility for all of our different client payment methods. And then also it enables us to set up subscriptions so that every single month on the date of our billing for our clients, an invoice goes out or bills them automatically, depending on the agreement that we have in place for them. So this has made a massive difference in our ability to manage our cash flow. And as you can see here on the right-hand side, uh, if you were looking at this, the Stripe dashboard, you have all different sorts of analytics on the health of your business, payments, delinquent payments, if you have any, all those different important vital signs for the cash flow of your business you can see here in Stripe. Amazing application, highly recommend. All right, so the number two app on our list is an application called Slack. And what Slack is, it is a digital workspace for client communication and team communication and collaboration, okay? It's a collaboration tool. And I get a lot of questions from students in our programs like the S7MA Blueprint about how does Slack different from email or texting? Why would I use Slack? The, the real reason for it is collaboration, okay? When you are emailing people, when you are texting people, those are segmented conversations. And even if it's just Derek and I working with a client or something, it can get segmented in in email threads. So that means we're com conversating in silos, people are repeating themselves and communication is happening where not everyone can see it, right? So I might be working on something, Derek has no idea if that's being worked on because there isn't something tying that together and that's what Slack does. So we have group channels for all of our team members. We have Slack channels dedicated for all of our clients. Each client gets their own Slack channel and we communicate in there within the, the different projects. Some clients aren't far enough digitally to want to use Slack. So in those cases we use email. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I should move all my clients to Slack. Use your best judgment. If it's going to be a breakdown or a hindrance to communication, I'd recommend using something else. Most of our clients today actually already use Slack in their business, so it's easy for us to go ahead and tie it in. Highly recommend learning how Slack works, if only for your internal use with your team. All right, so the next application on our list is an app called Asana, okay? Now this is an absolutely game-changing app. This is something that at this point is completely indispensable. It helps us manage all of our process, helps us manage our team. It's the reason we've been able to scale as fast as we have, and it's it's just an absolutely fantastic application. And the best part of it, like pretty much everything on this list, is it's free to start using. In fact, we only just recently started paying for Asana this year because we wanted some added functionality that you can't have with the free version, but the base free version has been more than enough for over five years of our agency growth. It's only now in our sixth year of in business that we have decided to opt in for a paid version of Asana. But just kind of sh scrolling through here, as you can see, there's a lot of different ways of setting up your workspace in Asana, and it can be a little bit intimidating at first, but we actually make it really easy to adopt Asana in our Ascension program, which I'll, I'll, I'll link down below and all that uh, if you want to check that out. But we actually give you like one click install Asana standard operating processes for everything related to your agency. But this is something we use to manage our team, to manage all of our client projects 
projects uh, from start to finish at this point actually 99% of our agency operations and everything that we do for clients is a templatized to-do list or checklist within Asana so that means when we close a client we kick off an Asana project all that stuff is already prescribed for the entirety of that project people are pre-assigned they know exactly what they should be doing and it seamlessly guarantees that we have predictable consistent results for every single client that we work with and Asana is really the backbone for that so you can see that you can have different timelines and workflows you can do the board style if you're more of like a Kanban style uh, in terms of how you manage your, your time if you use something like Trello in the past that might be familiar to you but as you can see it allows you to automate a lot of routine work it's just an absolutely amazing app gonna save you a ton of time and I'd highly recommend that you take a look at Asana we resisted using Asana for a long time we used to-do lists like Microsoft to do and that that suited us for a while but as our team grew we realized that there had to be a better way of managing all of this and Asana really was the ticket to helping us with that it also ties in with all sorts of different apps just like Slack does as well All right, so the next app on the list is an app called Focus To Do or any sort of Pomodoro timer. Okay, so what Pomodoro is, is it's a productivity method that says that you're gonna do 25 minutes of deep work and then you're gonna take a five minute break. And you'll repeat that a couple times until you take a longer 30 minute break. It's a task management process that was developed by a very well-received productivity book uh, that has just taken on and tons of entrepreneurs have started using this to manage their productivity. It's something that I use every single day to anytime that I need to get things done, I will just start a Pomodoro session and, and operate for that 25 minutes and then take a five minute break, you know, browse the internet, do whatever it is that I want to do. Highly recommend this. This really changed productivity and the way that I get things done in my day to day. I know that Derek does this as well. Other members of our team do. So I'd highly recommend taking a look at the Pomodoro process and applications. This one uh, is free. It's called Focus To Do. It's cool because it ties in uh, and just sits in the toolbar of your Mac, in, in my case, or your, your Windows PC if you're on that. But it, it's Chrome native. It's an iPhone or Android application, and you can use it on all different types of platforms platforms. And again, it's, it's a free application. So I'd highly recommend checking out Focus to do. All right, so the last and final app on the list is an app that we use for literally everything in our business. And it is an app called Canva. Canva is really, think of it as the easy button for Photoshop, for PowerPoint, for Illustrator. I mean, really for anything that you want to design, Canva is where we go. We use it for our proposals for our clients. We use it for presentations. We use it for things that we do with the SMA Blueprint. We use it for Instagram graphics. We use it for endless, endless, endless things as simple as removing a background from a photo. I mean, you can do anything with Canva. And I'm so grateful that this app exists because we've been using it for the entirety of our agency. We were very early on it when it first was released back in the day. And it's just grown and they've continued to reinvest and just make the platform better and better and better. There's even video editing features to it now where you you can create different videos. We use it for like Instagram stories, even for my personal brand on Instagram. Uh, I'll tag that down below. All those different things we use Canva for every single day. Every member of our team uses it. I would highly recommend it. Even the paid version is only $15 per month, but again, completely unnecessary for 99% of what you're gonna wanna be trying to do. I would highly recommend checking out Canva. I would list a million different things that you can do with it here, but as you can see, here's some ideas. You can just tinker, you know, video, presentations, Instagram posts, posters, logos, Facebook posts, flyers, ads, Instagram graphics, stories, infographics, resumes, right? There's a million different things that you can do. We use it for case studies. We use it for PDFs, tear sheets, all different types of things we use Canva for. And it's, it's one of my favorite apps on the whole internet. So I'd highly recommend that you check out Canva. All right, everybody. So that's what I got for you today in terms of the five apps that every agency owner needs. And I'd love to hear what apps are you guys using? You know, what apps have made a difference for your business? What are you using every day? Drop it in the comments down below if there's something that you feel that I missed in this list or that you feel that I or other agency owners should check out. And if you're new here, I'd appreciate, again, if you hit the subscribe button and tap bell notifications so the next time we post a video like this, you'll hear about it. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.